Okay, this lesson will focus on finding the missing side lengths using ratios instead of scale factors. So sometimes this is just a more convenient way. For instance, if you, if you have these two similar triangles, one has a height of 4 and a base of 8, and the other one has a height of 7, and you're, not, you're trying to figure out the base. You could figure out the scale factor, like what do I have to multiply 4 by to get 7, but since it's kind of a, you know, an ugly-ish decimal, you might not want to use it. Something to note is that if you take the ratio of two side lengths within a triangle, 4 to 8, the ratio of the corresponding side lengths in the other triangle, 7 to x, has to be the same. So it's really convenient because this one's nice and pretty. 4 to 8 equals 1 half. So you're just trying to say 7 out of what equals 1 half. And I think most people could do that in their head for now. Well, 7 fourteenths is the same as 1 half because I'm just doubling 7 to get that. So my x value must equal 14. So sometimes it's just a lot easier to use the ratio instead of going back to the, si uh, the scale factor. Let's try one more of these. So here we have these two trapezoids, and I know the top part of the trapezoid and the bottom. Um, again, you could find the scale factor, but it's a fraction, so it might not be that nice to work with. So we can, again, we can do a ratio of the missing side lengths. So the um, corresponding, if I do top to bottom in this one, is 10 to 15. And this bottom one, something to 12. I'll call it x over 12. So I'm going to reduce 10 15 because I think that makes it a lot easier to work with. So I just want to know 2 thirds equals what over 12? If you don't have that, memorized automatically, you can just use your fraction scaling up skills. So 3 times 4 is 12, so 2 times 4 is 8, therefore x must equal 8, and 8 is my missing side length. Notice 10 fifteenths is 2 thirds, and 8 twelfths is also 2 thirds. So these are going to have the same ratio for their missing, uh, the same ratio helps us find the missing side length.